So come on in closer, Roy. You see right there? See that crack? Right there. You see that little crack right there? I don't know what happened there. It looks like to be a defect in the PVC pipe itself that was used to make this um, UV. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to seal it up, okay? What I did was I took the UV out and I cleaned up the whole rim all the way around. And then now what I'm gonna do is I bought some thicker uh, PVC glue and I'm just gonna put a bead around the whole thing to try to seal up the leak. I know this is not the most ideal way, but since it's like a dripping leak and it's not really pressurized, um, it should be able to hold it. It's just a patch and uh, I'm hoping that it will work for me. I, and I believe that it will. So, I mean, it's better than scrapping the whole unit and getting a new unit. So come on in closer and then let's show everyone what I'm gonna do. So I'm holding it at an angle here so that when I apply the glue, it sits level and it's gonna drip around and then I'll try to control it the best that I can. So here we go. It's probably gonna be dripping a lot all over the place. I originally bought a squeeze bottle. Okay. So you see, can you see? Can, can get down, get down from filming from here. So I'm applying this glue here like a thick bead and uh, it will slowly run around the whole UV. Now, like I said, I bought the squeeze bottle. I might consider using the squeeze bottle just so I could apply more glue here. But let's see how this works first. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it as neat as possible because I don't like, I hate seeing PVC glue like run all over the place. So I'm just going little by little. And then see, it's going to start to run now. So more or less you get the gist. I'm just gonna finish this up and I'll get back to you when I'm done with it, all right? All right, so th the way I was doing it before wasn't quite working out well for me. I had anticipated that and I bought a squeeze bottle. So what I did was I put the, the PVC glue in the squeeze bottle and now I am able to apply it much, much easier. You see, now I can provide a nice bead and let it run around. So I can work much faster and get a ni much nicer, consistent bead here. See, look at that. Much nicer. And I'm just gonna slowly keep rotating it. And because this is a thicker glue, um, it holds up better, it doesn't run everywhere. Hopefully, um, it works out well for me. But so far, it looks good. You look at that, working out very nice. I was able to go all the way around already. All right, look at that. And I went all the way around, made a nice ring. This should seal it up. So now pretty much all I gotta do is just let this set. I'm gonna let it set overnight. And then um, it does shrink a little bit. So when I show you tomorrow, it won't be as full rounded like that. It'll be shrunken in and then uh, we'll probably be good to go and I will hook it back up on the unit, all right? So I'll see you tomorrow. So I finished sealing it up. It's a nice clean bead all the way around. Check it out, okay? And uh, since I was doing one side, I decided to do both sides as well just to be safe so that I don't need to take this out again. I just want to be extra sure that this works. Keeping my fingers crossed, once it dries, we'll get it up and running and we'll see if it really works. It is now the next day and I'm ready to reinstall this back. I just wanted to show you real quick. Remember yesterday, come, I told you the glue was gonna shrink. You see, it's shrunk and dried now, okay? so. I'm gonna put this back on. I've already shut down the system. I'm gonna show you a little trick that will um, save you from getting your floor all wet like how I did yesterday. Now yesterday, I couldn't do this because the UV was in the way, but this is what I'm gonna do today. 
okay, all my valves are closed, and when I open this, remember all that water that rushed out? Now, it's gonna get caught into the bag. So it'll save me a lot of cleanup afterwards. Here we go. Hopefully, it won't fill more than this bag. You see, it's catching all the water. Oh, there it comes. Okay, look at that, see? I caught it all. Yesterday, it just flushed all over the floor, and I spent a lot of time cleaning that up. Okay. I mean, a little bit on the floor, but not too much, right? So, that was definitely well worth it. Let me dump this water, and I'm gonna do the, the, the union on the other side, catch the rest of that water, and then we can install this, okay? I'll be right back. I mean, it should be a lot less water, because most of it came out on that side but I'm sure there's still a little bit in here. There we go. Come on. Let it finish dripping out a little bit. How come there's so much water coming out over there? All right. Okay, well, nonetheless, I saved myself from cleaning up a lot of water. I mean, it still got wet a bit, but it's still better than what happened yesterday. So let me get this UV back into position and tighten up these unions. Okay, that's one. Let me get to the other side and line up the other side and tighten that one up. Okay. All right, there we go. We're all set. So, Hey, come around to this side, boy. So again, since I'm changing the bulbs on that one, I'm gonna change the bulbs on this one as well. Like I mentioned earlier, they uh, they should be changed every year, so it's due, and uh, I'm gonna change them all at the same time. All right, so. Get all the maintenance done. My goodness, look at this bulb. Can you see it? It's all black, it's all burned out. All right, well, I'll show you guys better later after I take them all off. Okay, done. So, let me go get the new UV bulbs. I will reconnect that, tighten it back up, and then we're ready to turn the system back on, and I will see if it's still gonna leak. I'm positive, well, 99% sure that it won't leak anymore. All right, we always gotta leave that 1% for error. I'll be right back. Here, real quick, I wanted to show you guys, give you guys a better look. These are the old bulbs that I took out. Look at it, it's all burned out crazy right I mean the bulbs were still working but you see it's all blackened and and charred it's amazing I mean these bulbs have been running non-stop I guess for a little bit over a year and uh, I got my daughter here helping today don't drop those bulbs that's over a thousand dollars worth of light bulbs there right okay okay all right so I'm gonna start um, re hooking up these UV bulbs, all right? You can help me film today, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead, hold it. I'll take the bulbs. All right, follow me. Um, all right, it, it's a little dark back here. I've got a flashlight, but need to get to work. Okay, so we're gonna go one bulb at a time. 
it's important that we don't yeah, come bend down a little bit so you can see better. It's important that we don't touch the bulb, right? Um, so yeah, I'll touch the end here. I have no choice. And then I'll use this to hold it. I'm gonna feed them back in to the sockets or the what they call the quartz sleeve. Alright. And then we plug it back in. Push it in. Can you see? Is it too dark? A little bit. And then screw it back in. If you want, go get the flashlight. It's on the other side. Okay, right. Like, take the camera with me? Yeah, go ahead. Take it with you. Where's the flashlight? I don't know. It's somewhere out there. Look. It's okay. a small backlight. Okay. It's on the car. It's on the gray car. Got it. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? Mm-hmm. I'm just lining up the bulbs first, and then I'm gonna plug them all in at the same time. Okay. All right, we're gonna hook these up one at a time. So that one's done, and now I'm gonna do the other one. It's pretty much the same thing, so no point to show you, and uh, I'll just hook it up, and then I'll get back to you when I'm done with that, all right? All right, here we go, the moment of truth. Everything's all reconnected. I put in the UV bulbs. Everything's all connected back up, and here we go. I am gonna kick on the pumps first. All right, the pumps are running, and now the UV. One, two, there we go. It's firing up nicely, look at that. And I can already tell just by looking through the body, the light is coming out much, much brighter than it was before. It used to be just a very dim blue. So with the new bulbs, with the new bulbs, it is running at full force. Okay, um, I have to add some water to my system here. Let's take a little other look from this side. These UVs look pretty cool, don't they? All right. This part is done. I'll let it run for a little bit. See if we get any leaks, like I said. I don't think we will. And, uh, it's time for me to move on to the next project. All right, see you guys soon.